Well, I think, uh, you know, our recruiting philosophy is to uh, stick a flag in our backyard and recruit outward. And so it's, it's imperative for us to be able to recruit the best talent that we can here in the state of North Dakota, first and foremost, and um, to, to have a class of seven, seven of our guys coming from, from the state that our university in, I think is, is vitally important. We're able to um, address some, some very uh, needful areas um, for our roster. And, uh, you know, as we go through the process, especially here in North Dakota, we get to know these kids really well for a long time and, and we're able to determine if they're the right fit for our family and the right kid and um, that, uh, that they're going to fit our culture correctly. So I feel really good about, uh, about the seven guys that are staying here in North Dakota that are going to be playing for us. Um, talking about some of those guys, uh, specifically starting at running back, which is probably the position of our biggest need going into this recruiting year. Um, we were able to, to sign a, um, Tarek Engett from Ray Powers Lake, uh, a very good running back who uh, had some injury um, problems here uh, this senior year. But we think that, uh, that he's going to have a tremendous upside. He's going to have an opportunity to come in and compete just like the other running backs uh, to play early and, and really be able to, to be somebody that we can rely on. A very smart kid, um, great student, great person. Family's awesome. Uh, and he's from, uh, from not too far away, and I think that's, uh, that's pretty important for us. Um, staying on the offense, we signed a couple wide receivers as well. Uh, first one is Jackson Lorenz from Grand Forks. He's a he's a legacy kid, meaning that uh, his father played here. Uh, that was uh, that was really important for us as well, um, just to be able to continue with our with our family environment and our family tradition, and um, just to know that uh, that someone that played here and has kind of gone in those footprints before him uh, trusts us enough to to know that his son's going to be in good hands with what we're doing, and it's going to kind of carry on the legacy that he's created. Um, you know, he played some quarterback as well. He's a very good athlete. Uh, he's, a, he's a solid student. Uh, all those things, we're going to play him at wide receiver. We think that, uh, that he's got a, a ton of upside and potential as well. And then the other wide receiver that we signed is J.J. Albrecht um, from Castleton. And he's, uh, he's a 6'5 wide receiver, a very tall body, somebody that we would say has a large catch radius. Um, which is which is really important for us, uh, not just to be a, a necessarily a red zone threat, but somebody that can go up and catch the ball over uh, some smaller defensive backs that uh, that we're going to face, and gives us some that, that length that we just don't have on our roster. And I think that's going to be uh, uh, very exciting. It was a pretty good um, pretty good battle in the recruiting race for him, and we feel really good that uh, that he decided to stay here in state and, and be a part of be part of the Beavers going forward. So that that'll be exciting and then lastly on the offense we we were able to bring in Cole Erickson from Berthold who uh, you know not even 20 minutes down the road uh, he's uh, he's been coached by Logan Gunderson who played here uh, he's got sisters that uh, that have gone here are going here so uh, Minot State's very familiar with their family and I think that's uh, that's a huge uh, huge thing for us just to continue that family bond and um, really to be able to keep our guys uh, locally here. Uh, he's an offensive lineman that's, uh, that's still you know, relatively small uh, in our eyes with uh, you know, about 240 pounds. And to, to be really good in this league, you got to be you know, 280 or, or more. So he's got a lot of room to grow. And uh, very, very athletic, playing um, basketball and doing some of those things right now. So we're excited for him just to be a full-time football player and, and um, you know, be, be a really a true local guy um, playing for his local university. So I think that's pretty exciting. Moving to the defensive side, uh, we signed uh, DJ Schneibel out of rugby um, just an hour down the road for us. Uh, he's somebody that uh, was in our camp this summer that we really fell in love with. Um, one is playing potential. He's a, he's a nose guard. He's a big body. He's strong and physical. Um, but then just as we've kind of gone through the process and really getting to know his family really well and the number of times that they've been here and, and got to know everything about us, um, that was something that, uh, that we targeted him early, and he's, he's definitely one of our top recruits overall uh, just with the ability to, to hopefully help us and play early. Um, but also to, to help solidify another big need of ours is just that interior of our defensive line. So uh, bringing in DJ is going to be a, is, is a huge plus for us. And then 
rounding out our two other defensive kids that we that we brought in from North Dakota. Both of them are from uh, Ray Powers Lake as well. So we have the uh, a trio of three amigos there from from that school. And we've got Aiden Nordloff, who's a linebacker, huge body, 6'2", 230-pound kid. Um, you know, he's playing nine-man football, so he's He's kind of playing all over the place, so we've got a penciled in as a as a big body linebacker who I think is is going to be uh, able to use his physicality to to his advantage, um, give us some more of that size that we need to help stop the run and and do all the type of things that we're going to uh, want to do in the future. And his his upside is is unlimited unlimited as well. Just to to see how big can this guy get? I mean, when you're 230 pounds and you're still high school senior, there's a a lot of untapped potential there. Uh, definitely. Definitely. And then Kyle Van Berkham is is the last uh, North Dakota kid, uh, like I said, from Powers Lake. We, we brought him in as a safety, uh, played quarterback and safety in high school. Uh, I really love having uh, one of our safeties be a quarterback from high school because you basically, in essence, are going to be a quarterback of our defense. And he's smart, uh, has an idea of what offenses are trying to do just because of the role that he's played. Um, and, uh, and I really like what he's going to grow into because – uh, his size is 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 really exciting. He's a six foot three, uh, 170 pound long body that uh, that he's only going to grow and, and become more physical. But he's got the range and the and the smarts and the football IQ that we're looking for to really develop into that uh, that free safety that um, that that we were looking for. That's going to help us going forward.